Okay, my name is Trooper Sean Compton, Pennsylvania State Police here in Punxsutawney. I'm with Sean Casey uh, Fairman, also with Trooper Lee Bunyak, PSP, Clarion, and uh, County Detective Dave Rothfuss mm -hmm. with the Indiana County DA's office. Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, you agreed. I had, I had informed you that I'm recording this by audio and by video, correct? Yes. Okay. And you agree to take a give us a statement. Prior to that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you read you uh, your rights and warning waiver. My name is Trooper Sean Combs, Pennsylvania State Police. You have an absolute right to remain silent, and anything you say you can will be used against you in court of law. You also have the right to talk to an attorney before and have an attorney present with you during questioning. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney. One will be appointed to represent you without charge before questioning if you so desire. If you do decide to answer questions, you may stop at any time you wish, and you cannot be forced to continue. Mr. Chairman, do you understand what I have read you? Yes. Okay. And do you agree? Uh, is it okay? Will you do you agree to uh, speak with us? Yes. Okay. Let's get back to tonight. You you started off. You said you showed up there approximately midnight. You yes. got there by your by your own vehicle? Yes. Okay, what kind of vehicle is that? I didn't live by a Chevy truck. Oh, fine. What color? It's maroon. A maroon? Is it on top of the hill. Is it a regular cab or? It's a big four-door. Big four-door? Yes. Uh, you said setting up on top of the hill. Where's the hill? Where's it? The parking lot or yeah, along the road? Lower place. Neighbor's property. Neighbor's property? Yes. Okay. So you park it up there mm -hmm. and you walk down to the house. What do you take with you down to the house? What do you carry with you? Myself. Yourself. Okay. You get down the house. Now this house, I haven't been there. From what I heard, this is like a two-story farmhouse? Old farmhouse. Old farmhouse. Yes. Okay. Front door faces the, the street. Mm -hmm. Are there any lights on in the house? Yes. I get down there. My father-in-law is down there at my house at fucking midnight with my wife. Because she thinks something's going on. So I look in the window, then he gets the, comes up to the door and says he's not a lock the door. Then he gets in the window and he sticks a gun in my face in the window. Were the lights on in the house that you could see him, yes. or is you looking through the street no. lights? I was on my front porch looking through my window, and he kept running his mouth and running his mouth. Okay, and what was he saying? I don't know. I don't know. Just yelling. Okay. To, to get out of there, or was he threatening you? Yeah. Both. Both? Yeah. Okay. Tell me, fuck, kill me if I make it out of the house. Okay. And this gun he had, uh, what did it look like? Just like a little generic 9 member. I don't know what it was. Uh -huh. Something little. A little, little black. In one hand, what he had to point this gun at? Right hand. His right hand. Uh, what are you saying to him when he's making these threats? Say anything. Not that you want to speak with, you just want to talk to Jessica or what your intentions are, why you're there. You didn't say anything. Okay, and then what happens? You do that. Yeah. He doesn't shoot at you? No. Okay. Earlier you told me that you brought a 45 caliber long colt revolver with you so what I have. and you have 30 or 6 because yeah, no, you're not sure if you'll get down to the no. house or not. Okay. Where did you have this, this, this pistol at? Like it was in the holster or your waistband? In hand. So you carried it down no. in your hand? Yes. Okay. Well no, I didn't carry it down. Somebody stuck it in my, in my belt. In your belt. Did he know you had that gun? No. Nobody knew I had that gun. He couldn't see it. Even my buddy that took it from him, he didn't know I had it. Okay. You know how bad a person feels before all this shit, something like that happens. You have everything taken away from you. You're told what you can and can't do. When you're putting a bucket in that house against your will, how does it make you feel? You know? Everything was supposed to make me better. It didn't. Okay. 
So he's pointing his gun at you. Mm -hmm. What do you do with your gun? I pulled up and shot him one time. And where did oh, you damn it? Were you did you shoot him or what did you shoot? Yes. You shoot? I'm sorry. Yes. 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 So you shoot him one time. Yes. Do you know where you hit him? Where the chest. Okay. Do you see him go down? Yes. Does he say anything to you? No. Do you then go into the house? Yes. How did you get in? I smashed the window because I shot through. Then I tried to go upstairs and get my wife to get on and help me with him. And when she, she refused to, she just fucking shot me. When you got in the house, did you yell for her saying, I shot your father? Yes. I was in there probably an hour upstairs laying on the floor bleeding all over the place while he was downstairs. And she wouldn't let me go back down. And she wouldn't get out with me. Yeah, we could have done something. Tell me how you got shot. How did that happen? She shot me. I went up the fucking steps to look for her. As soon as I walked to that room, she shot me one time, and I went down, and I got up again, she fucking shot me again. How did you get shot? Shot in the back. Did you see the gun turn? She just, she just did the fucking woman. She just holding up and shoot. But yeah, after the first time, what would you do? Just kind of hunkered up to the side there. How many shots did she end up firing, do you know? I think three. I still had my gun in my hand. I didn't do nothing. I handed it to her. I just fucking prayed to God she didn't shoot me with it. I give up. I done wrong. I wanted to help. What did you guys talk about until the police got there? Nothing. 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 She's a miserable old bitch. It was nothing. I kept telling her, let's go see if we can help him. No. You move and I'll shoot you again. I'll shoot you right between the fucking eyes, she told me. I said, we can go help him. I said, I'll get on the steps first. Did you ever hear him going for any help or anything like that? No. God, come on. I want that kind of person. Just screwed up right now. Big time. You said you took this gun uh, from a buddy. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't know. I'm not going to detail about What's that? So I'm not going to detail about His name, name's Bill Troop, though, right? Troop? Yes. Troop. Troop. Now, this gun, you took it out of his truck. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Was this was this before the sheriffs took your, your, your guns? It's been a while ago. It's been a while. Yeah. Well, if you had your own guns, why would you take, take his? I mean, what, what would be the reason to take his? What's that? You ever seen an old 45 wild Colt? Just a nice old antique gun. Well, to do. Oh, it's he, had, he had a pair of them. Two of them. Okay. Now, this rifle, how did you get in possession of that? Do you want to know? I'd like to know. Do you want me to tell the truth? Doesn't hurt. I bought it today. I bought it today at the fucking harness shop in Smithsburg from the Amish. Get the guns over all the time. You don't have to show nothing. You give them cash, it's yours. And how much you pay for it? Think about it. Just curious. Three hundred bucks. Three hundred dollars. Is this a scoped rifle or no? Bolt action? No. Three all six uh, two shells up for it. Keep shells in my pickup so you guys didn't take one and clean everything mine out. So there's, there's, there's bullets you didn't go by, you, you actually yeah. had those in your truck still? Yeah, I can't buy bullets right now. Two of them. Okay. I think I have a whole lot to look forward 
to that this isn't what is after. Well, what were you after? What were, what were you trying to... I'm not saying. Okay. I'm not saying. See that happen to me? I'm being a fucking nut for again. You were, you were talking about that. Um, you told me once that uh, you had com uh, committed yourself. And how long ago was that? About two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. And that was where? What hospital? Katani. Katani. Oh, strong. Were you, uh, were you living in your mom and dad's time? No. I was living at the house. You were still living at the house when that happened? No. Okay. I got out of there and I was a piece of fucking dog shit. I got out, well, it was my second day and I had BFA against me and was told I can't take any of my shit and nothing. So I go from living with crazy people to living back at home with mom and dad. But I'm supposed to fix myself and make myself better. When they give you some medicine? That selects them the wrong. Or antidepressants and uh, anxiety? Yeah. Does it work? I don't know. I'm not taking it long enough to... See, that selects will take about eight weeks to work. When was the last time that uh, you spoke with Jessica? Last time? Yeah. The 11th last month. And what, what, what happened when I had my last blow up? What was that? I'm not doing the details, man. Okay. Did something, was there a court date or something on the 11th of May? But okay, that wasn't the PFA court day or anything? That's, I don't know. No. But no. no. It was 11th is when she put all our papers when we were separated, so that's what rings a bell to me. You received divorce papers? Today, in the mail. In the mail? Mm -hmm. I didn't even put a self sign for them. Made my fucking day. What time did you do that? About 10 o'clock. Is that when you started drinking, after, right after that? Well, actually, that was decent. I waited until lunchtime to start. Usually I don't, but... Okay. So, uh, you start drinking at lunch. Were you hanging out down at Mom and Dad's, or just driving around? Mom and Dad's. How long do you stay there until you leave? I so I took a nap for a while today. And I slept for a while. Actually, a good while. Then I left. What time was that? Uh, probably five or six o'clock. Where'd you go then? I drove around. Still drinking? No, I stopped, you know. I sobered up and... What's the matter? I'm just trying to, what, what, what was running through your head, you know, what were you thinking, you know? I just, I mean, how do we get to this point? I mean, that's what I'm just trying to piece together. It's a hard And just, well, people do things for reasons. And okay. depressed. That's why I thought, because I was depressed. I didn't try to freaking kill that one because I was depressed. Just, this pisses me off. I try to go to my house to talk to someone. Especially seeing that I heard that she wanted to talk to me, you know, from someone else, and no, I show up there and she fucking shoots me. So you were going there just to talk to her? I wanted to, yeah, but you never knew what's going to happen. And look, when did you know that her dad was there? When he was standing there, or did, was there a vehicle out in the driveway? You pulled in the driveway. No, no, I didn't pull in the driveway. No, I didn't pull in the driveway. When I walked out over the hill. You saw his vehicle. Yep. And it fucking pissed me off. Miss, I don't need anyone. But she needs all kinds of help. Tell her she's a fucking bitch. What do you think was you were going to accomplish knowing her dad was there, going up and knocking on the door? 
said, she don't need my fucking money. That's what she told him. And I can rot in fucking jail. That she can do everything on her own. And then, you know, the next day comes along. I get my divorce papers. You know, she filed for divorce and she wants child support for four kids and alimony. Saying that she does not have enough property to sustain a, a living for her and her children. You know? Mm -hmm. That's two days after her telling, you know, me directly, but right. saying that she don't fucking need anything from me. How'd that make you feel? It would probably upset me. Yeah. When you got there, you didn't know her dad was there until you got closer to the house? Is that the way I understood that? No, uh, their car was there, but... But when you left your... As I walked on the porch there, he was in the window. Okay. When you left your truck, mm -hmm. did you know her dad was there? No. Okay. And when you left your truck, you told the other trooper that you had your, at least your revolver with you? Yeah. yeah. And you may have had the law. I had, I had both of them with me, but I didn't take it in the house. I don't, I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know what matters. I might have taken it. I don't remember. Yeah. I, did, I didn't. I didn't shoot it. Okay. But when you left your truck, you let, you know you had your revolver. Yes. But you didn't know if her dad was there yet. No. And you previously said that you were just there to scare her. I wasn't really there to scare her, just was hoping I could talk to her. Okay. I, I guess the question we would have is why you took the gun from your truck to the house. Well, look what happened there. Yeah. yeah. Look, look, look at the whole deal. Look at the whole deal and you answer that. Did you know she had a gun? Not now. So you didn't know? Did no. Do okay. you think I ever think she'd fucking shoot me? I wouldn't think. Well, guess what? She will. <laughs> She's not too particular. I have to beg her to stop. God damn it. <clears throat> How close were you to this window that you saw your father mm -hmm. on? Like from me to you away or further? Mm, probably closer. Closer than yeah, it's front of the mosque. I haven't been there either. Can you explain what it looks like? Is there a window right next to the door? Yeah, then you walk in the door. There's a door for then there's a door for the room, then there's a window. And you porch? Yes. Try to go inside? Yes. Locked, I assume. Yes. At what point do you see The whole time. The whole time. The whole time. He left to leave. Okay. And did you send he sticks a little big leap in my face? Is that you, I assume? Big leap, yes. And then he walked away. Okay. He stood clean back to the back of the kitchen and he done it again. And he yelled something. I didn't understand him. That's when I died. So he's standing how far away from the window when you shoot? Oh, the kitchen isn't that big. Maybe 12 feet. Oh, so he's not up against the window. He's yeah, 12 feet back. It was, uh, but when you shot, he was yeah, about 12 feet away. So he just walked away. Just, God damn it. What was he doing when you shot? What do you mean? Was he just standing in there? Yeah, he had his gun up in the pointer bay. When he was at the window? Yes. And then he kind of backs up towards the kitchen? Yes. And he stood there and just, well, you know what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. Just held it there. It just made my fucking blood boil. He was still pointing at when you shot? Yes. You know, that's my fucking house. Well, you saw him go down. Why did you decide to then go into the house after that happened? To go in and start give him well, aid? What you done? I, I don't know. I mean, why were you going in the house to, to 
render him, try to render him aid or to try. I yelled fight. for her, and she wouldn't yell to me. So I went upstairs. Yeah, she knew what happened. She knew what happened. And as soon as I get up the steps, she shot me the first time. And I went down. I tried to get up again. I tried telling her we need to do something for him. And she just, she said, "You move up, I'll kill you." So I give my pistol. And I just laid on the floor. She fucking shot me again because I tried getting up. That's when you were shot the that second time? Yeah. Well, he's up for 45 minutes, I bet you. God damn it. Yeah, we... Yeah, I screwed up. I did. I done it. But we could have made some sort of difference. down there not knowing that her dad was there. Is that, that's true? No, nothing was planned. Just nothing was planned. No, I just... What was your... the plans with the gun? My it's taking. in the way of the power right now. Okay. She sees that and she's shitting in her pants. Okay. I just... I wanted to be able to talk to her. Okay. Oh, but... Mm, I wish you could understand. What did you want to talk about? Just, right? I wanted... I, I wanted the PFA and everything dropped. I wanted everything done. I go along with the divorce, we go our different ways, but I want her to quit control of me. I mean, I couldn't do anything mm -hmm. without people wanting to know where I'm at. And she wanted my dad to call her every time I left that house to let her know where I was at. You don't like being controlled? Right? I mean, not on what? I was controlled for 10 fucking years, man. So you were okay with the divorce? Yeah. After everything that I heard, yes. What do you mean? I was. I just, the way she acted. But this morning you were served, or you picked up the divorce papers, and did that upset you? Yeah, well, but, but, but on the other hand, I thought that it was a thousand dollars I'd have to pay. What do you mean? Because I was filed for divorce on Monday. Oh, so she paid the court fees? She, that, well, no, she, since she's a fucking cunt, she gets it for nothing. Really? Yeah. She paid, I had paid thousand dollars for PFA or what she paid, nothing. She okay. went to Laurel Legal. Mm -hmm. Another thousand dollars for divorce. Mm -hmm. You understand what we're looking at? It. Yeah. What started this tonight? Is it because of the divorce papers this morning? Like why go there it tonight? just goes on. It's day to day, man. So it's just kind of building up. Yeah. Was the PFA served on you by our department or sheriff or something? Sheriff. Sure. Yeah. When did they do that? I wasn't up in that point. Okay. And then they came and got your guns, I assume. Mm -hmm. Where were they? In the house. Just, well, yes. I, I should have brought it with me, the PFA. That's how we did. got a kick out of reading it. They was hid all throughout the house. The guns were? Yeah. There's a difference between hiding them and putting them up out of the way where little kids can't get them. And this this 45 you had today, you got that from a friend? Yes. Okay. I took it from him. Does he, did he know you did that? No. He how, doesn't know I have it. How long ago did you do that? I've had it for, oh hell, no longer I've had to be at bay. Like weeks or months yeah, or? a couple weeks. I, why would you take that gun? You just like the gun? My 
one smart person, man. You starting to pick up on that? No, I don't think. I and think you then, are. And I drink, and I get fucking stupid. Did you think that your wife was going to get a PFA on you? Uh, no, I didn't know what the fuck the PFA was. Okay. I had no idea. Not the slightest clue. Then the one counselor that went in with me, she told me, though, I want to suggest that she gets one. She told you that? Yeah. I said, what is that? And she told me what it was. Then yes, yeah, she said about taking my guns and this app. And Oh, okay. Was that conversation before you got this gun from your friend? Yes. It was. I've had that gun before all this happened. That gun is old news. Okay? Mm -hmm. I've had it. Why do you think you needed the rifle? Did I mention I'm retarded yet? We don't think you're retarded. Well, so. no. We think make some poor judgment. <laughs> Isn't it amazing what that little fucking patch of fur will do to a man? It's all truth in that. Isn't there? Especially when you put time in together and you have kids and just overnight. I don't want you to fucking leave. Okay. You said about the, that rifle. You said you bought it today. And when you said you started drinking around then and took a nap. When did you purchase this gun? You got your papers this morning around 10. Mm -hmm. Got home around noon. You started drinking. You said you took a nap for quite a while, quite some time. When did you go buy this, this rifle? Right. I'm just trying to piece it all together. Just a timeline, that's all. I was over there in the morning, and there's a whole fucking shit ton of people. And, you know, my circumstances, I don't think it's a good idea to get that. Because I just passed Jessica. Okay. Out the room. So I chickened out. I asked him, so what time are you open to? They said five. So I said, time what about? Five o'clock. About ten o'clock. When you say you were there in the morning, what time was that? Is that true? Probably eleven. So after you got your paperwork, after you got your divorce papers, yeah. So you go over to the harness shop or in some expert around 11 or so. Mm -hmm. They tell you they're open until 5. Yep. I go back. They're all sorts of shit like so the, the, Those guns, do they have them on display there or are they just back room kind of guns? I'm just curious. They're right out the middle of the Right out there for people look at it. People bring them in. Okay. And they sell them and yep. buy them and sell. Okay. You said you passed Jessica? You were driving and she was driving? Yeah, yeah. Was that? Oh, earlier in the day. I passed her. But after you went to the post office? Yeah. It wasn't, I didn't have no gun. Okay. Up and then just... How did you feel when you when you saw her? About the same as what I think of her anymore. Not, not it's good enough. Not shitty. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember either what should I say here. Yeah. I'd like to say a lot, but... You can say whatever you want, yeah. Sean. When you... Did that stir up some emotion when you saw her again? Not really. Then? No. Reading them papers though, you know, in big words. Well, she can't, doesn't have enough property there to support her children and herself. And that upset you because a day or two before she told your dad that yeah. she didn't need your money. And then therein, I make a substantial living and, well, and able to support her. What do you do if you don't mind me I do nothing now because I'm fired. Well, I mean, what did you do before? You had a nice truck. Or universal. What's that? I'm right here at Punk City Frack Crew. Oh. The frack crew. Okay. Well, that's going on. So. When did you decide that you were going to buy that long gun? 
person in. You know, they went to that. What's his mind? Just curious. I don't know why I want. First of all, I want to give them money. And I'm finding that out. I was never allowed to have money. I had a debit card for a while. She took it off me. So she, she controlled the finance? Yes, I had to fucking beg for money. Every week for gas money. I had to beg for it. She gave me 20 bucks to put in a two weeks. Did you have cash on you this morning or did you go withdraw some money? Cash. How how much? Three hundred dollars or more? Did you know how much that gun would cost? Taking a shot in the dark. Yeah. How how did you have money? Did she give it to you? I didn't have a job. No, I mean, you said she controlled your money and would give you. I got my own money now. It goes oh. in my own account. Okay. She can fucking get her own goddamn money. I sent her seven hundred and some dollars last week. Do you, do you think I got anything out of it? Nothing. She can't even have my kids call me every night. I can see how that would upset you. Mm -hmm. Again. Yeah, I told my mother last night. I said I'm not calling. I said there ain't no reason your mother can't. Well, Anna knows how to dial the phone. She used to call, call grandma was four. Hmm. Which one? She was a seven-year-old? Yeah. When was the last time you talked to your kids? When was the last time was night before? Do they normally call you or? Oh, fuck no. I got that mom call and then they call me back. Yeah, it would be too hard for her just to have a call in. God. This place where you bought the long did you know that they don't do paperwork? Why do you know what there? I don't know. I'm not from this area, so I don't know where to buy a gun. the first got a bought there. So you knew you could go in there with cash yeah. and walk out of there with a gun? You betcha. It doesn't mean that, doesn't mean that you guys need to go over and pester them about everything either. Oh, well, I, that's I, not our concern. I know it's not legal, but... No, I don't care. What do you want to do? Other people bitch about too, because... Yeah, you know, on one hand, it's not a good thing. Because you got people like me that get a little screwed up, and what would happen tonight? Where do you go when you need a gun? It's easy, all you need is some cash. So yeah, that bit does need a dress. Okay. You see what I'm saying though? I see where you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to go over here to Bills and buy a gun. You would not, you say? No. Right. Well, I can walk in there, and I can handle 300 bucks. There you go. Just just long guns, or they have pistols too. No, yeah, they have pistols. Just uh, just long guns. Whatever people bring in the cell, rifles, shotguns, muzzleloaders, just whatever people bring in the cell. New, old, used. I bought quite a few over there in the past year before all my troubles. And usually get a pretty good deal on them. I might as well shove that fucking three hundred dollars on my ass. Better off with my second hurt plan. Go and sit in the front bar and just sit there on it. Did you have an accident in your truck? She had her own band. She has a band. Do you see it? I've been down there. Uh, it's not. I found that a little weird. I'm
That's just kind of thing they want. Mm -hmm. It's actually they have these open. It's got a couple of little scraps to the bedside back. And except it's 104. Uh, 05. It's a big old boat. You saw who was the last person you saw out of there before he went down to the house? You mentioned earlier you were with a friend. It's no good he's brought into it. I didn't get to talk to him, just he wasn't up to work out. Yeah. And you got your paperwork today. Did you talk to anyone about it? Your mom and dad? Friends? Yes. Mom, well, well. You talked to your mom about it? What about this body? Did you, did you talk to him about this paperwork? No, I haven't. Uh, I used to work with Scott. I could work on the same place and I haven't talked to him in a good while. He just lives right down the road from my mom's dad. I figured I'd get back in touch with him. But it wasn't up. Uh, yeah. One of all your problems but the you know, when you said you got out of the hospital there was a PFA and then this divorce and stuff. Mm -hmm. who, who do you normally talk to? I mean, uh, pretty much no one. You don't have a couple of buddies you sit down and no, see really. what's going on and just someone to yeah, help? I pretty much fucked myself over the years as far as friends know. So. Why do you say that? Well, that's her. She'll explain it to you. Just ask her. They don't, they're not friends with you because of her? No, it's just because of me. Well, yeah. I push everyone away. Yep. I'm not a big big person. I have nothing really else for you, Sean, unless there's something else that you want to talk about. Uh, where are we going? I don't know where we're just yet. We can take it back down where you were there and you lay on that bench. I know it's a hard-ass metal bench, but it's... So my parents do here. Where do they leave? Uh, I think I saw them out in the lobby. I don't know if they're still here or not. I'm sorry? So they're going to be pissed at me for my schooling work. Well, yeah, man. Are you upset <laughs> with yourself right now, Sean? Explain what you mean. I get, you have any regret? Like, yeah. You said earlier yeah. you had decisions. You could have went to the bars and drank, or yeah. you could have done that. Yeah, that's what I should have done. That's, that's, oh. yes, I have regret. I'm not, 